AIM listed exploration and production company Europa Oil & Gas has a mix of exploration assets offshore Ireland and interests in exploration, production and development onshore UK. It's just had uh, some big news in its Irish licence where it's farmed out 70% of one particular licence to Cairn Energy. Chief Executive is Hugh Mackay joins us now. Hugh, welcome. Uh, congratulations Morning. because I know this has been a while in coming but uh, one in I think seven licences you've got there in Ireland now has got this uh, farm out at a 70-30% uh, split. Explain a bit more about it. Yeah, this is uh, great news announced today. We farmed out 70% of uh, licensing option 1619 that we were awarded in June last year to Cairn Energy. And we've got a carry on a $6 million program that will include acquiring a 3D seismic program this summer. So that's going to accelerate exploration of this license. I think the way I see things developing is that we'll acquire 3D this summer. Uh, we'll get a processed product next summer. And I'd hope that by the end of the year, we've got a prospect inventory and we'll be able to lay plans about what we want to do next, which hopefully will be drilling a well. And just to explain to people that don't understand, the carrier means that you have no financial responsibility at all for any of that process. That's correct. Up to the gross spend of $6 million, we've got a carry, which will probably take us up to, you know, getting a prospect inventory, uh, and, then, and then we can take it from there. Uh, by the time we get to that point, uh, there's probably going to have been another three exploration wells drilled in the basin. And if any... Not, not, not belonging to EOG? Not belonging, not belonging to us. I mean, the, the first one is going to be drilled this summer by Providence, and uh, the other news today was that Care and Energy have also farmed into the Providence licence, FEL 214, uh, to drill a well this summer. and there will be very strong read across from the results of that well to our licence, FEL 1619. So it's great news for us that Cairn is part of both. So there'll be no second guessing about what the results mean. They will know. And if the results are positive, then, um, then that, that should be you know, a good sign for us if we decide to take this licence to the next stage, which is drilling. And the, you know, the size of the prize here um, you know, we're suggesting is a billion barrels, uh, which might sound a lot, but if you think about our other, one of our other licences in the basin, FEL 313, which is on the east flank of the Porcupine Basin, it's the mirror image if you like, and in 313 we've got 3D, we've got a CPR with 1.5 billion barrels of oil equivalent mean uh, prospective resources. So. Having a billion in this licence is actually being slightly conservative. It, you know, if, it's, if it's as good as FEL 313, it could be bigger. But you know, we're not going to know what the resources are until we shoot the seismic. So it's great news we're doing that this summer. Why has Ken gone for this one where there's yet to be seismic uh, established, whereas it's left another one of your licences with that uh, qualification? Well, I think they're building up a strategic position in the basin. In addition to our licence, LO 1619, They've got 100% of the licence immediately to the north, LO 1618. How far away is that? It's, it's right next to oh, it. Right, right. Uh, so, so um, you know, they'll, they're going, to, when we acquire seismic this summer, not only will, they, will, be, will we be acquiring seismic over our licence, they'll also be getting seismic over 1618. And they've now picked up FEL 214, the Providence licence, which is a dual target, Paleocene and Cretaceous. So they've now got a very significant position in the basin with exposure to the Cretaceous play. So if, it, if it's successful in FEL 214, they've got running room. So uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good news for them, but it's also good news for us because we'd far rather have a farming partner who is uh, off the fence, if you mm -hmm. like, yeah. and who's taking a, an aggressive position in the basin, which yeah. Cairn definitely have done. When you say the basin, you're talking about the Porcupine I'm Basin, aren't you? We're talking exclusively. Basin, you, yeah. I think you got, of the seven licenses you got, you got four in the Porcupine, That's of correct. which one we've spoken about this yeah, morning. Yeah. Um, and, and you've got others. Do you explain about the other two that you've got. So, yeah, so, um, so four licenses in the Porcupine, and the priority at the moment is to farm those out. Um, so that's, that's our immediate priority. We've got three other licences. Two are around the Corrib gas field, so we, we, they're a rather different kind of investment proposition. We'd suggest it's, it's gas exploration next to a field in much shallower water. The risks are going to be lower. The 3D's already been shot, so that's Corrib. And then we've got the Porrick Basin uh, on, the, uh, on the flanks of Rockall, and, and that's you know, genuine uh, a fr frontier exploration 
porcupine, I'd suggest, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's more, in the, well, more in the medium risk category and clearly with the drilling that's going to be going on over the next one or two years, there's the opportunity for it to be substantially de-risked by other companies drilling exploration wells, both on the Cretaceous fan play, but there's also going to be activity on the Synrift and pre-rift plays in, in, in the Porcupine Basin. At the moment, we don't know which of these plays is going to work. Hopefully all of them. Uh, Europa is exposed to all of those plays. So no matter which one works, we've got exposure to it. So we feel that we've got you know, a good diversified portfolio in the park. And, and the, the other formats you hope will come about, the other six, is, is this first one the blueprint for the rest of them, do you think? Do you think that 70-30% split with the full carry is, is a good way of doing it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think 30% you know, leaves you with the material exposure. Um, it, I mean, some of the other licenses are at a different stage in the game. So, right. for example, for the two FELs we have, we've already got the uh, 3D seismic. For LO16-2, we've already got the 3D. So, you know, we'd be looking for different terms for that. Although in those licenses, the next step is drilling. If we were to retain a 30% a interest and carried on a well, that would be a very good outcome for us, uh, definitely. Um, but yeah, well, it's been a long road. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure I was been in here and telling you that we opened the data room in January 2016, and here we are, it's March 2017. So it's been a long road. Um, but I, th I think you know, we're now starting to see traction in the farm out market and definitely the, um, there's been a sea change in the attitude of the big companies to exploration. I, this time last year, they were still in, you know, batting down the hatches, yeah. $30 oil, no new ventures, we're still in the middle of laying people off. Now they are it's a know, different proposition, different proposition yeah. $55 oil, you know, they, they, they've got used to that. Um, and they're now thinking about refresh, refreshing their exploration portfolios because they've had three years of doing nothing. Um, and there is a bit of a herd mentality in the oil industry. The fact that major oil companies are active in the Atlantic margin makes it an attractive proposition. And the fact that there's drilling coming up, um, which is going to help prove you know, whether this is an oil province or not, is also getting its attention. This is definitely not Sleepy Hollow. As chief executive, you've got a lot on your plate at the moment. I mentioned at the top as well, you've got uh, production and exploration here yeah, in the UK yeah, as yeah. well, onshore. Um, in terms of the headlines, and I'm talking about the headlines overall, including more from Ireland, what are you looking for for 2017? What do you think are going to be the real big uh, points to watch out for then? So, first of all, more farm outs in Ireland, um, which, which will be you know, important for us. Also, the Providence well, the read across from the Providence well on at least two of our licenses in Ireland will, you know, technically will be huge. Um, Onshore UK, we've got Wrestle, you know, we're, we're now having to um, resubmit our planning application to get Wrestle on production. And this we is hope in Lincolnshire, is This it? is in Lincolnshire. We've drilled the exploration well where we're really just waiting to put a nodding donkey on top of it to start producing oil. We've suggested gross production of 500 barrels a day. Um, we were <laughs> more than a bit disappointed when it didn't get planning permission in January. The operator, Egdon, has now got a twin track approach to you know, getting this to a, what we hope is a positive decision so that we can get that into production. Uh, so that's, that's, that will be very positive news. And then finally, later in 2017, we will be drilling the Holmwood well in the Weald Basin. Um, it's eight kilometres from Horse Hill, the Gatwick Gusher, mm -hmm. five kilometres from Brockham, where Angus have, have recently been uh, active mm -hmm. re-entering the field, and they seem to be getting very positive read across from Horse Hill. Um, UCOG and Angus have now farmed into the licence, along with uh, Union Jack. We're carried, we've got a 20% interest. If it comes in, then it's potentially a very high impact UK expiration. Well, Horse Hill was a great result and uh, we hope to replicate those results at Holmwood. So that's coming. So, so I suppose that's, that's three quite big ticket movers. More farm outs in Ireland, uh, Wrestle, Wrestle mm -hmm. and Homewood, and, you know, and the fourth is 
positive read across from province. Yeah. Good, well, good luck for 2017. Thank Hugh, you very it's much. It's a pleasure, as ever, uh, to see you. Hugh Mackay is Chief Executive of Europa Oil and Gas with the big news today with the uh, licence in Ireland.